हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स येट अनदर वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप अ स्क्वायरिंग ट्रिक एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन लाइक थ्री और फोर डिफरेंट ट्रिक्स थ्रू विच यू कैन स्क्वायर टू डिजिट नंबर्स नाउ दिस इज समथिंग स्पेशल नॉट पुट ऑन द चैनल बिफोर सो यू नीड टू वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो एंड यू नो यू विल हैव वन मोर ट्रिक थ्रू विच यू कैन स्क्वायर द टू डिजिट नंबर्स वेरी वेरी क्विकली एंड विद अ यूनिक ट्रिक so the festive season is on and we have launched our amazing festive offers on all our paid courses so whether they are the class 6 to class 10th courses on uh, mathematics and sciences in which we have given the videos and the worksheets solved and unsolved uh, for comprehensive preparation of the cbsc curriculum or it is the vedic maths beginner level course where we have given Uh, more than 60 videos and more than 100 worksheets for you know enabling the students to calculate 10 times faster or it is the short tricks uh, uh, combo with the reasoning uh, which is used in uh, you know cracking the quant exams at uh, competitive level so you can send me a message on whatsapp because this is the best time to go for these paid courses lots and lots of offers uh, uh, given this is the whatsapp number 9896 Three six double nine six three. I'll send you all the details on the uh, WhatsApp number itself. So, if you're not click the subscribe button till now, you can do it now and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of all these uh, future uh, useful uploads. So let's get going and learn a special trick to square the two digit numbers. The first example which I'm going to take up is for demonstration purpose. and you need to see how this trick works and after watching the trick you need to tell me in the comments you know what is the logic behind the trick so i'll tell you the trick i'll show you how to apply it to find the square of any two digit number and then it will be your job uh, you know doing 20 30 questions uh, using this trick and telling me in the comments does it work so let's see the simple example of 29 square so the trick uses the numbers 25 and 50 so the use of 25 and 50 is very very important in the squaring of numbers uh, like two digit numbers if you go in three digit numbers uh, it's going to get complicated you but you can use that trick all right but it will get complicated okay so i'll stick myself to you know uh, only two digit numbers in this video 25 and 50 how do we use these two numbers in squaring of any two digit number the first step is just have the difference of 29 the number here and the first number which i have taken here 25 the difference happens to be 4 and the second step is to because this number is less than 50 so i will subtract this number from 50 so 50 minus 29 this happens to be 21 now if i know the square of this number 21 then my job is done so it is expected that you should know squares of numbers up to 25 at least right so 21 square is 441 but remember the number i got here and the number i got here i will use these two numbers to find the final answer for my question from this part i will retain two digits in the answer and if there is any more digits here just carry forward and add it to the previous number so 4 plus 4 is 8 and there we go the square of 29 is 841 so at the first uh, instance you know when you see the trick it is like why not do 29 times 29 directly yes obviously we can use the traditional approaches but learning new things enables you to experiment with numbers and that's what makes you smarter let's take one more example uh, of how about taking 37 square so if i take 37 square 37 minus 25 the first number here it gives me this is 12 right and how about 50 minus 37 i'm getting closer uh, to very small numbers here see this is 13 and 13 square we already know is 169 so how will i use 12 and 169 now i will retain 69 from here and carry forward the 10 uh, the 1 here sorry and the 
makes this 12, 12 plus 1, 13. So 1369 is the square of 37. Now you must be feeling better now, right? Let's see one more question and uh, you will see as we get closer to 50, the process becomes so much simpler. See 48 square. Now if I do 25 subtracted from 48, I will get uh, 23, right? And if I do 50 minus 48, I get a uh, 50 minus 48, which is 2, right? Now, 2 square, the number here is 4. And so I will write this number as 0, 4 because I told you I have to retain 2 digits from the second part. So, 0, 4 and 23, nothing carried over. So, 2, 3, 0, 4 is the square of 48. Now, you can check using the calculator and you will see how effective the trick is. Let me take some more examples where I take numbers above 50 now. Suppose I have a number like 56 square. So the first step is 56 minus 25 and that gets me a 31. The second step is now this is more than 50. So I will do 56 minus 50 now. I don't want a negative number. So I'll subtract 50 from this number. So this gives me 6 and 6 square is 36. Now see 2 digits here and 2 digits here. The answer for the question is 3136. You can write it directly. No problems at all. Let's have some more examples. Suppose you have to take 64 square. So 64 square, 64 minus 25 happens to be 39, right? And uh, if you subtract 50 from 64, you will get 14. And 14 square is 196. Now, here we have three digits. So I, I told you I don't want three digits here. I will retain the last two digits and this will be added to 39. So 39 plus 1, 40 and there we go 4096 is the square of 64. See, we can go on and on and demonstrate so many uh, tricks, you know, but practice is what is required and uh, slowly the timing is getting reduced and the number of steps and writing, they are also getting reduced. So what's some more examples? 71 square. So first thing is 71 minus 25, second thing is 71 minus 50. Now these are the two numbers which you have to get initially. Now if I subtract uh, 25 from 71, it's 46, right? And if I subtract 50, you have 21 and you should know 21 square is 441. Now what is the answer? 41 retained and 4 added to 46 gives me 50. So 5041 is the square of 71. Let's take a more larger number, let's see 82 square. So if I subtract 25 from 82, I will get 57. And then if I subtract 50 from 82, I get 32. Now finding 32 square can also be done using the same trick, which I have demonstrated in my next question. Okay. So as of now, 32 square 1024, I'm writing directly. So 24 retained and 10 added to 57 gives me 67. So 6724 is the square of 82. Now let me take a question where uh, the uh, problem is of finding the square here, not here. So I will use the same squaring trick twice. Let's say 93 square. So if I do 93 minus 25, this will give me one of the numbers and that is I think 68 if I'm not wrong. And then 93 minus 50 is 43. And I need 43 square now because without that I can't find the answer. So for doing 43 square, I'll do the same thing again. Uh, if I subtract 25 from 43, I get 18. And 50 minus 43 gives me a 7. So I'll write it as 707. And the square of this is 49, which is a two digit number. So if I get a two digit number, the problem is resolved. 1849 is the square of 43, which I will write here, 1849. Now retain two digits, 49, and this 18 will be added to 68. That gives you 86, right? So 8649 is the square of 93. So if you take big numbers, you will see that you will have to use the same trick twice in a question 
to find the square correctly. So as you get away from 50, the problem is going to get more compound, but very useful for numbers which are very close to 50, just like between, um, you can take 20 less than 50, like 30 and 20 more than 50, that is 70. So between 30 to 70, the trick works wonderfully well. Beyond that, the uh, you know amount of calculations you have to do will surely increase. So I hope you have learned something new in this particular video where I told you a strange but very very effective trick for squaring two digit numbers. Look for more such amazing videos on Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts. Keep learning and keep smiling. All the best for your practice.